hello everyone now we are going to study and understand the configuration of payroll this is section 6 which basically focuses on payroll so in this lecture 29 we will understand what is payroll area and the feature a b k r s so let's understand what is payroll area and then we will go to the feature what is payroll area in my previous discussion i mentioned that payroll area it classifies all the employees for whom payroll runs at the same time the payroll area also defines the frequency with which an employee is paid for example your company might have part-time employees and regular employees so regular employees might be paid monthly and part-time employees are paid bi-weekly for example or like uh, weekly so now there are two different payroll areas so payroll area groups employees together on the same payroll run frequency like there are like 20 people in a small company out of 20 people 15 people are basically regular employees and their payroll is supposed to be run on monthly basis and remaining five employees are part-time employees or hourly employees and their payroll is supposed to run on weekly now you have two different payroll area so when executing a payroll for a particular payroll area so whenever in sap in the sap world when you say run a payroll it is basically running a payroll for a particular payroll area payroll cannot be run all together for all the payroll areas payroll will run for one particular payroll area so similarly again the payroll will be, will be run for another set of uh, employees which is nothing but another payroll area so in your companies if there are uh, uh, two different payroll areas like monthly and weekly so monthly payroll will be run separately and weekly payroll will be run separately why because monthly payroll will basically will be performed for monthly payroll area and weekly payroll run will be performed for weekly payroll area so now if you recall the info type 1 which is 001 organizational assignment in that info type you might have noticed there is a small field called as payroll area that is the place where you store the payroll area for an employee so for example for uh, for any employee record if you go and see what is the payroll area is attached to the employee it means when the payroll is running the system knows which employees to include in the payroll based on the payroll area so that particular field payroll area in info type 1 plays a very important role because as i mentioned you the running the payroll is basically running a payroll for the payroll area and where is the payroll area is stored in info type 1 for the employee so system will easily easily know which employee should it include in running the payroll so it is very easy now let's see what is the feature abkrs as i mentioned you abkrs feature is used to default the payroll area in info type 1 we know info type 1 has a field called as payroll area now the purpose of this feature is to default the payroll area in that info type depending upon the decision tree whenever i talk about feature it is basically talking about the decision tree whatever the decision you want to place you can place the decision and then tell the system hey if the employee is belonging to the country 10 then this should be the payroll area so what the system does it basically takes this value from the feature and uh, store as a default value in the info type so the end user should not worry about like what is the payroll area of the employee and so on so it basically reduces the effort of the end user by giving him the default value for that particular field in the info type so this is about the feature now let's go to sap and see how basically 
we will basically create a payroll area. I am going to SPRO. Now, SPRO is a configuration transaction code. I am going to IMG. Now, if you notice here, I am going to personal management here. I am expanding this node. Going to personal administration here. I will expand this node. Go to payroll data. Expand this node here. When you expand payroll data, you will not payroll data. It is basically organization data. Sorry. Because payroll area is stored in info type 1. And what is info type 1? Info type 1 is organizational assignment. So I am expanding this node. Now here you will find the payroll area. So if you know that uh, you can recall the navigation, it is personal management, personal administration, then organizational data, then organizational assignment, and then go to create payroll area. Now I am clicking on the create payroll area. If you click on this, now I have created one payroll area called ZM. So ZM is something I have created for Zenith monthly. I am just giving the name Zenith monthly. So system knows, okay, this payroll area is for monthly. But still, system doesn't know by the description of this. We have to assign some parameter to it to tell the system, hey, this is monthly. Just typing monthly, weekly will not have any like meaning in the system because it is a free text. So first you have to give the description here, then go back and if you see this particular node create payroll area, click on that. Now when you click on that, go to your payroll area, what was that? Uh, ZM. Now if you see here, I have assigned the period parameter here. What I have assigned? Period parameter. That period parameter is basically given by SAP. Like 01 is a standard given like monthly, 02 is bi-weekly. This description could be changed, but normally in the standard companies, they either keep the same or they will uh, change it to the company name. Like I have changed to ZS monthly. Though now this is a different com like uh, description. Now this is the period parameter. This 01 is the indicator that this payroll area is monthly. Just having the description here is of no use. Attaching this payroll area to period parameter, then it makes a definition of the payroll area that this payroll area is monthly. So even if you keep this description monthly and if you assign the period parameter such as for example uh, uh, weekly or bi-weekly. If I assign weekly, even though the description is monthly, but the payroll will understand this is weekly because you have assigned the period parameter as weekly. So this is how you create a payroll area and also attach the period parameter to it. So this was basically the how to configure the payroll area. Now how to create the feature. I told you in my previous lecture if you recall the feature A, B, K, R, S to default the payroll area in info type 1. So there are two different ways to access the feature. One way is that if you know the transaction code PE03, you can directly go to that transaction code, enter your feature name and configure the feature. But if you don't know the feature transaction code and feature name, it's better to go to the configuration. If you see here, check default payroll area. This will also take you to the same configuration, how the T code will take you here. It's basically the same task or I would say the activity. Now here if you see, I have configured this feature saying that if the employee belongs to the country, that is Molga is the, the parameter for country. So if the employee belongs to 10 country, country number 10 is for USA, then default the payroll area ZM. What is it? ZM. So once you decide this uh, feature tree, and then give this return value. This is the return value. Return value in the sense like your fee, uh, feature decision is done. Now you are telling the system, hey, my decision is done. Give this value to the info type in that particular field. Now go back. Let's basically see how to basically uh, create the default payroll area. Now I am running an action PA40. When I say PA40, 
it is basically running an action so i am selecting an action like zenith new hire usa i am executing this when i execute this i am giving a start date something like 0101 and i am just filling up the, some values here just to show you how the value will come in this particular info type so this is my info type which is actions 0000 now when i save just focus on the next info type which is basically info type 1 organizational assignment let me save it the moment i save the next info type will come and this payroll area zm automatically came up i did not enter why because the feature was instructed by the system to store this value automatically here so that is the purpose of feature so this payroll area is stored in info type 1 and the feature abkrs is defaulting the payroll area in this info type hope you understood and enjoyed the class thank you